Here's a little shed maybe. We're going to calculate its volume. And it's going to be calculated in two parts. First of all, the bottom part here is like a box. It's a rectangular prism. And then the top part, the roof, is a prism also. It is just like here, right? But it's not standing upright like this one is. It is here, like laying flat. So, for the top part, the prism here, you need to think of this as its base, and then this as its height, if you were able to turn it upright. Okay, so let's first calculate volume of the bottom part. This here, that is like a box. And of course that, you just multiply these three dimensions here. 5 meters times 12 meters times 2 meters. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 times 12 is 120. And cubic meters, notice. Then the volume of the top, or the roof part here, this one, the attic. That is a prism, so we need to calculate the area of the base times height. The base is a triangle, and then the height here, this way, would be 12 meters. And the area of the triangle is, again, base times height of the triangle divided by 2. This is the base of the triangle, right? 5 meters. So I get 5 meters times 1.5 meters divided by 2. That's the area of the triangle, and then this whole thing times 12 meters. Okay, you could simplify, for example, the 2 and 12 gives you 6. Then you have 6 times 5, 30, and 30 times 1 and a half. So we will get 45 cubic meters. And then in total, total volume would be 120 plus 45. It is 165 cubic meters. Lastly, we have a swimming pool. A 10 meters by 5 meters by 2 meters swimming pool. Now this is like a box again. Its height or, or depth is 2 meters and 10 meters by 5 meters rectangle on top. And it is 90% filled with water. Find the volume of the water. Here's a little fact to help us. One cubic meter is equal to 1000 liters. If you want to sketch this, like I said, it is like a box, okay? Something like that. So that there's 2 meters is the height or the depth. And then we have 10 and 5 meters. So its volume obviously is just, you just multiply those three dimensions. Volume of the pool is 5 meters times 10 meters times 2 meters. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 times 10, 100. 100 cubic meters. But it's 90% filled with water. The water is not to the top. The water is, you know, near the top there, but not quite to the top. So we take 90% of 100. Well, that's really easy, right? Volume of the water would be 90% of that number. 90% of 100, which is 90 cubic meters. And now we will just change it into liters. 90 cubic meters times 1,000 is, of course, 90,000 liters. So it takes a lot of water in liters to fill up a swimming pool. Now, I had very easy numbers for this, like 5 to 10. But the principles are the same if the numbers were, let's say, 1.68 and 12.2 meters and so on. You first calculate the volume of the pool. Then you take 90% of that, which would be multiplied by 0.9, and then you multiply the volume by 1000 liters per 1 cubic meter. Okay, we're all done with this lesson. I hope it was helpful.